the first and only time that Steve put his hands on me. It's when the boys returned from a trip from Disneyland. He texted me and said he's coming to get the boys. I said, you cannot come and bring them to your house. They haven't been to your house in months and they're not gonna be comfortable. And he showed up at the door and he just walked in. I went up to the room to get the, their item that I normally take when I take them for the weekend. He was fighting with me the whole time. I'm like, you need to leave. He said, I'm not leaving, I'm taking the boys. I said, you're not going to take the boys. He was coming at me, he got into my face. He was yelling at me and he was visibly angry. I did not back her up at all. I went under his arm to try and get away and he grabbed my arm. And because she became so enraged, he attacked me. I didn't hit him. She was completely out of control. She raised her right arm and she hit me in the chest two to three times. If he says that I hit him, he's lying. I wasn't violent with her. He took my arm and threw me with all his might. I hit the bunk bed and I fell. I grabbed her arm and I moved her to the bed. I didn't throw her on the bed. I sat her down on the bed. The oldest came upstairs and saw me immediately getting bruised. He was freaking out. He said, did daddy just hurt you? And I said, yes. The kids were in another room. They did not see this altercation that she committed against me. He said, I'm leaving and I'm going to call the police for you assaulting me. I didn't call the police. That still didn't stop her from going to court the next day and getting a, another order of protection against me. He disputed the order of protection and it was upheld. Okay, so two very different versions of what happened that night, right? Correct. Okay, you have a whole list of questionable behaviors of him that you ob object to. You say that he forged a $100,000 check in your name. Not a check. He withdrew $100,000 out of our house without me knowing, and he forged my name. That's and not true. You okay. said he stalked you at your job and got you terminated. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Um, he's physically assaulted you, called you names in front of the sons, mm -hmm. uh, called DCFS on you, mm -hmm. um, uh, ag agreed that you get sole custody for $2,700 in debt forgiveness. Yes. Uh, gave the uh, son $100 and then took it back, nothing for the other son. In the middle of the school, in the class. Right. Yeah. Uh, kicked and pinched the youngest son and just won't accept him. Abandoned the boys, missed birthdays, holidays, violated court orders, quit counseling. Yes. So you're saying, what kind of father does all of this? Exactly. Okay. But now, I mean, you're saying none of that's true? Because I'm reading mean, each one, you're saying not no, true. No, no, I mean, no, I, no. Never, I never afford the $100,000. That's impossible. I mean, I did not do it. It's not I impossible. Mean, if, if, it's possible. I know. Well, I can say that, but I mean, if you can prove it, prove it. I'd never done that. And stalked her at a job. I never stalked her at her job. She got fired on her own accord. Oh, hold on. Now, there was either a hundred grand taken out of this house in some way. I yes. mean, no. you said check. You, did you no, say it was out of the house. The it was record. another mortgage. Okay, but you either did or you didn't. What, and I did not. Was there a hundred thousand dollar second mortgage taken out on this house no, or yes. not? Yes, there was. And was He's it done in the by you? He it was, was a real not done by me. Agent. The house was refinanced, but there was no second mortgage taken on. You yes, can check this uh, record. Uh, was it refinanced for a hundred thousand dollars? Yes. No, it was not. It was refinanced for a different, it was a larger business. amount. He was working in real estate at the time with a mortgage guy, his friend. Right. You said you didn't find out about the fraud until the bank called you a year and a half later right. and asked you if you signed off they on this check. They asked me to come in and they asked me if that was when they had, they, they investigated and they said, we have a check here or what, however it is, and they wanted me to come in and see if it was my name. And it was not, I did not sign that check. I had no idea about okay. that. Did and you so sell your kids for $2,700? Well, the, the attorney I had at the time, she gave me a statement on, a long drawn out statement, and she said, this will happen in order to stop the alleviation from the issues that are going on with your ex, with your kids, if you do that. Did you sign away custody, sole custody for, Forgiveness of a twenty-seven hundred dollar debt. That's what happened in that on that that court date that I have with the second attorney. That so that's I had. yes. Yes. Okay. Then how can you say you did that in order to be able to have visitation with your kids? You just said I signed away sole custody for twenty-seven hundred dollars. Well, not realizing what happened or the the magnitude of what happened after that happened. I mean, it, it's detrimental, obviously, because that's why I can't see my kids on a regular basis, because she had sole custody and control of it. But you didn't ask? Because you're know pretty controlling. Hell, you ask us to let you edit your tape piece. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I did say that. So you're pretty controlling, uh, but well, yes, you signed your kids away for $2,700, so you didn't know what was going on? I didn't know what was going on to the point where, like I said, we didn't discuss it prior to the court date. 